Okay, we're gonna talk about Chatbase. So Chatbase is one of those really cool products that shows a lot of promise, but when it comes to using it in some kind of interesting, meaningful way, it really fails to deliver. So yeah, without any further ado, let's take a look at Chatbase and some of the issues that I've experienced with it using its API, and more specifically about updating the data that it knows about. Let's do it. So the idea is pretty simple. I have a bunch of orders. I want to add this to Chatbase and then I want to ask Chatbase about these orders. The main issue that I've been experiencing is, well, actually there's two main issues. Number one, slight hallucinations. If you're using the cheaper ChatGPT 3.5 based model and the biggest issue that really makes this almost unusable is the fact that for some reason you're only limited to a very, 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 very small amount of data being passed through the uh, payload when you send it to update the chatbot. So at least via API, but as I'll show you, this same thing happens kind of like when you paste text into it. What you can see in front of you is my database and I'm using Airtable as always. And I also have my chat base assistant over here. Well, the chatbot, essentially. I have a bunch of orders. So if I close this, you'll see that I have, what is it? I mean, right now I have five thousand line items but right now i'm only sending or attempting to send about 36 orders yeah and it simply doesn't get it so let me show you what i've done in terms of my automation how i've set this up as always typically i have my automation trigger that sends an order or at least it's supposed to send an order but what i've found is that you can't just send one order. You need to send multiple orders all together, bunched up. It simply doesn't work to just update it with new data and get it to remember what you've done. So you have to bunch up all of your data in order to get it to do something. So yeah, I'm using my typical trigger. I am processing just one order that sends a webhook payload. If you've been following the channel, this is very, very typical. We just used a very simple script. This needs to be updated to your webhook that make.com gives you. Don't forget to add the input variable name and also the Airtable record ID. That's that in terms of the trigger. Then let's take a look at the actual scenario. Essentially, we have our webhook. We fetch that one order and then I'm performing a search. In fact, let me just show you what I've done here. So yeah, I'm just fetching that one order. Then I'm performing a search of my sales table with the formula including data set being set to one or true because it's a Boolean, right? Yeah, basically it's fetching these 36 orders that I've checked. From there, there is no limit to how many orders it can fetch. And what I'm doing next to make the scenario economical, I'm aggregating that text into this particular pattern, right? New order alert, order number, client, the product, cost to the company, price paid by, paid by client, date of purchase. That's it, you know, very typical ordery stuff. And then I'm pushing that as a payload, right? This is my URL. I'm just using my typical chat-based connection. This is the endpoint that we need to push to. The method is post. And yeah, basically this is my setup my chatbot id my chatbot name which you have to give although it's always the same i don't want to edit it and my source text basically replaces any instances of new lines with a backward slash n which is typical it's all good next i'm simply updating that record that triggered the whole process with a nice little timestamp so um, what are my findings then? Well, technically it only fetches about 14 to 15 orders out of, out of 36, which is not ideal. It's bad. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to jump into my settings and chat base sources. I'm gonna 
clear my text and let's just leave like one order on there. All right. Awesome. Let's ask it some questions. How many orders do you know about? I really should say that it only knows only about one, which is great. Order number nine. That is literally what is in its sources. Fantastic. Does it do the same in Airtable? Know about. Excellent. It only knows about one order. Great. Let's try and push the envelope now. So I'm going to give it 10 orders. Okay, let's try, let's start with nine. Okay. Clear. And now this is now running. And let's process these nine orders and let's see what it says. Also, just to clarify, I am right now using the chat GPT-4 model. I've set the temperature to be fairly high. It now also said that my chat bot is trained. So let's refresh everything, right? How many orders do you know about? 11. It's not strictly accurate, but I kind of get it because it probably knows. Uh, what is this? This is nine plus the one that it trained on in the in the source, which is number nine itself. Well, you see, it hallucinates. So we have four, one, two, three, four five six seven eight nine so you see that answer total of 11 orders well again that's wrong that's where the problems start let's try and set the settings down to like super low temperature we don't want it to hallucinate right so save refresh reload excellent how many orders do you know about 10 Okay, accurate, good. Give me a list of all these, uh, of all the order items. Nine, 10, fantastic. Excellent. Please note that order four appears twice in the data provided. Okay, fair play. No problem. Although is it? I don't think so. But anyway, as long as we know that there's 10 orders. So at this point, let's try and raise this, right? So we've given it nine. Let's give it some more. Let's give it nine more. So now we should have a total of 18 plus one that it knows about already. So that's 19 process. Let's refresh. Let's reload. How many orders do you know about? 11. There you go. Give me a list of all the ID and again this is just like weird right it previously told me it knows about 11 and then just uh, and then gave me uh, only 10 order IDs so you might say that well Alex if I copy paste the data straight into chat base it's gonna work better let's try that so here there we go so that's 19 orders or sorry 18 orders let's paste that in into the source uh, text retrain let's see if it can do better all right so now it's trained straight up right in here how many orders do you know about based on their unique ids 14 yeah so that's still not accurate. I definitely gave it way more orders than that. So you can see the problem here. It doesn't matter what I change in the settings, it will still basically do exactly the same. So if I change this to, let's say seven, it will give me exactly the same answer. Yeah. So as you can see, guys, there's plenty to be expected from Chatbase's API. It's a fantastic product honestly i'm rooting for them but right now this is really bad it 
at least for a simple example like that, it's not performing nowhere nearly as accurate as it should have for at least the hundred bucks a month that the ChatGPT for at least the, uh, the subscription costs. So yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Do you use chat base? Do you feel like it's better? Do you feel like I'm not giving it enough justice? Let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.